On behalf of TVLesson.com, I am Dr. Justin Newman, Doctor of Oriental Medicine with the BanyanHolistic.com. Let's talk a little bit about integration and the role integration plays in holistic nutrition. Assuming you've eliminated whatever you don't need, you've taken in foods that are easy to break down and maximize the energy from them, and you assimilate all the nutrients throughout the day, many people wonder, how can I speed up on my metabolism? What if I'm dieting? Are there some things, some special considerations that I should pay attention to? Yes, there are several. Your body is about 98.6 degrees Fahrenheit. Foods that you eat that are too cold, too raw, are difficult to break down from the body. If you take food out of the refrigerator and eat it cold right away, your stomach has to warm up that food before you can even digest it. And this is a lot of wasted energy. You want to maximize the energy that's taken in from your food and not expend too much energy to even break it down. Also, it can be helpful to eat many small meals a day. Rather than eat meals that bring your body to fullness, only eat a little bit so you're satisfied. If you overfill your stomach, it can't do its job properly. And in fact, eating several small meals keeps the fire going. It does speed up your metabolism. People who don't eat very often slow their metabolism down. They think by skipping meals, I might lose weight. But in fact, if you use the analogy of a bear going to hibernate for the winter, if I don't eat, my metabolism slows down so that I can be sustained for these days or weeks or months. I don't want to slow my metabolism down. If I'm dieting, I want to speed it up. Eating several small meals is very, very important. The other in consideration that comes into play is vegetarianism. Some people wonder if vegetarianism is an important choice. It is. Our body system is made to break down primarily fruits and vegetables and grains. So in summary, if you're dieting, if you have any special considerations regarding comfort foods and your attachment to them, seek out guidance from a nutritionist in your neighborhood. On behalf of TVLesson.com, this is Dr. Justin Newman. Thank you for watching.